Do you need a facade to succeed? We all love sharing our stories, but in a business context, what can you really share? Do you need a facade to be taken seriously? Can being authentic and real backfire? We have to be true to ourselves and our communities to be engaging, but we also need to be credible and professional. We unpack this further with Amy, Steph and Jess, Audrey, Caitlin, Rachel and Kylie to find out how they balance authenticity and professionalism. How much does your online community convert into something? Well, it did. I mean, it's Instagram is responsible for everything I've done. One day a girlfriend said, why don't you set up an Instagram account just for fun? And I said, what am I going to do with that? I don't know, just take photos of the food you're eating or something. And within three or four months, I had thousands of followers. It has been so significant, but the challenge in that is that I was for many years very reliant on Instagram, and obviously we cannot be nearly as reliant on it as we were because it's much tougher. There's people out there with 50,000 followers, 100,000 followers, and the perception is they're nailing it. Mm -hmm. And then when you speak to them, they're actually not making any money. Not that that's the definition of success, but you need a sustainable business model to be able to have the impact that you desire. I thought that if I created this facade and spent a lot of money on a website and created a brand, Mm -hmm. and I didn't want to make myself the brand because I wanted to be able to scale the business and step back over time, that it would look more professional and it would create this Mm -hmm. image that I was big, not Mm -hmm. small. And what I learned, like people don't give a shit about the brand. What works is when people see you Mm. and what resonates is you. And I was like, oh God. And like I created this whole facade. And (laughs) and even with the social media stuff, I would watch certain people on social media and go, I need to be more like that. But what has happened again, as soon as I step back and start to be who I always was, the people who I attract are the right ones for me. Absolutely. Yeah? Because people clearly pick up on the bullshit and or the fact that you're not who you really are or that you're trying to be somebody else. You know, people come to me because they're feeling stuck, they're not feeling good enough and they want me to clear their crap so they can feel amazing. So the pressure that puts on me in terms of the amount of vulnerability I can show online has been a very interesting challenge. When I see people who I think, ooh, they're doing something exciting, I think, what are they doing? Oh, they're, they're celebrating their unique selves. They're showcasing what they're really good at. They're broadcasting to the world things that can help other people. How can I apply that to my own model? Mm. I think for us, we always say just like stay true to yourself, find something that you're really great at and don't waver from that. Our following kind of found us and now we have like these quirky, fun fans that like love what we love. And I think that that was really crucial that we kind of like stuck with what we believed in.